That was T111 siding, so it's a it's almost like a plywood, like a roughed up plywood that has um, different panels ranging anywhere from uh, four all the way up to eight. It was starting to crack, it was getting a little soft in some areas, just right where um, the bottom of the siding was touching the drip edge. Um, he also had a few seams that were coming apart, um, allowing moisture to potentially get in there. He caught it just in time, which was great, but say he would have waited until the end of the year or something, you know, he would have started to experience drywall damage on the inside. Um, heaven forbid he let moisture get in there when in the cold temperatures were present uh, because he could have gotten ice behind that brickwork and then that would have expanded, could have popped his mortar joints out. It could be a big deal. So siding is your first line of defense, you know, when it comes to the elements. Um, and then you have wood behind that uh, called sheathing, and then you have your framework. If that siding is always wet, then it's pressing up against your sheathing then it starts to rot your sheathing. Once your sheathing starts to rot, then you have a hole for water to actually get in. And if not, then you know, you've got your siding wet, your sheathing's now wet, and then that's right up against your studs. So then those start to rot, uh, and then that just you know, keeps dominoing. I guess at a glance, if you're walking around the exterior of your home, sounds like common sense, but anything obvious, like if you see caulking around a window um, that has a big crack going up it, or starting to see one of your panels or pieces of siding cracking, uh, pulling away from the house, buckling, if you can feel that it's soft somewhere, then chances are the damage is probably a little bit worse than what you can even see at that point. On the interior of the home, you know, even just a little, a, a little tiny stain on the ceiling or on your wall, and on your drywall, um, wet carpet, just every so often you feel a little wet spot on the, on the carpet. Um, those are always signs that water's getting in. 